Hi everyone. Um, today um, I'm going to show you what I got for my 17th birthday. Yes, I'm 17. Um, I was born on February 6, 2000. Oh, where did, all, where did my life go? <laughs> um, sorry if I'm not posting very often, like I said in one of my earlier videos, I don't, I don't, I'm probably not going to be posting all that often, i got to be in the mood and i got to find good material and have something to put on here, worth seeing, so, yeah, just have to stay tuned and watch for when I post new ones. Okay, so let's let's see what uh, I'll show you what I got. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so here is just a, a card um that I got from my parents. This sweet. And then <coughs> I got this um, journal. It's a beautiful monarch. Monarch is my favorite butterfly. I figure that I'll probably be getting a um, tattoo of one someday, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, that's that. I've already um, written in it some. So that's that. And then. I got the piercing Bible. <laughs> um, I uh, wanted this because I'm just like, oh, I'm so into like body modification and piercings and um, that kind of stuff. So I thought that'd be a cool thing to have because it's by the queen of body mods. Yeah, I recommend people who are into, um, uh, pier like, want to pierce safely, like, knowing how to get piercing safely and such, I recommend getting this book, because it probably tell you the best stuff. I think she's, I think she's the president of the APP, Association of so, so, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> my tongue's twisted. Association of Professional Piercers. Yeah. So. Yeah, if you need to know the proper things about piercing, then I'd recommend this book. And, um, I got... This is one part of a shirt that I got. I picked it out at a... Uh, Walmart or whatever. This here is the scarf of it. It's like leopard print. I'm so into leopard print. Like it's my favorite animal pattern. I'm into animal patterns and such, but this is my number one. So, yeah. Been into leopard for a long time though. It's like I get a little bit maybe tired of it. I don't know. Okay, and here is the main shirt. You see that? Oh, it's so pretty. It's got, um, it's, you know, got it's got glitter. Like, it's got some glitter, um, decal on it. And, um, uh, this, the shirt, like, this part, it's, it's, like, connected right there. So, it's not two separate pieces, it's all one piece, made to look like two pieces. Oh, so pretty. It was cool, too, because I found it on clearance for, like, five dollars or so. Oh, that's pretty amazing. And here... Hang on, this shirt's inside out. Here is this one. 
I found this one too. Um, I didn't pay. I didn't pay for these things, my own money or nothing. But that's that, and it's actually got like a um, it's an interesting sleeve. It's like um plasticky material that feels like stiff and whatever. It's kind of interesting. And um, I got a um, a glass nail file. I could um, I'll see if I can put a um, a picture of it. Does I? I was going to get it, but I forgot before I started the video, so I apologize for that. And, um, uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, glass snail files. It's, 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 it's like got a, it's a, it's called Classy Lady. It's, um, it's got a case that it puts, that you, um, that it goes in. And I wanted that because I heard that, I read that glass nail files are better for your, um, nails and metal yeah you can look that up um, confirm it but I'm like I'm like hate my nails like usually they're just ugly and peeling and whatever um, if artificial nails weren't so toxic and expensive then yeah, but I've actually tried some once, and they didn't work out very well. I think the brand was like Nailene. I got it from Walmart, and it wasn't really what I wanted, but I just decided to get it because I wanted some. They, yeah, I don't recommend them. They suck. Um, yeah, I haven't had a good experience with them, and I've been told that they don't work very well so I mean you guys might have better luck with them but I didn't I didn't have good experience with them so that's that but anyway the glass nail files are supposed to be better for your nails and metal so I would recommend them they're really they're really pretty cool you wouldn't really that's just like not something that would really cross your mind to be as good for something like that. But I think they're pretty good. I reckon just try not to drop them or something. Just be gentle. Okay, and the last thing that I got is this. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It's a lavender opal neo metal librette. Labre, Labre. That's my first nail metal piece. Um, that's a uh, body jewelry brand that is used by professional piercers, I think. I try to. Um, I mean, I may not do body modification. I may not do everything I should uh, with piercing and such, but. I think I try to do um, a good, uh, take care of my piercings good and get the best of the stuff for them. I used to get surgical steel. I don't think that's even a um, proper term, but I've heard that it contains nickel, which is not good for you. Like. I read that nickel can cause like nerve damage and can cause allergic reactions and I just don't recommend people to do that so um, I recommend you get niobium and titanium and maybe even gold you can just type this stuff online and find out for yourself but yeah, I recommend you do a lot of research about body modification if you want to be as safe as you can and don't, you know, 
you can just I think I can if you guys want me to I'll make a video on body modification but I won't I don't really I don't want you to take my word for it I want you to research these things to confirm it because I'm not I'm not fault free I may be mistaken so yeah but it's so awesome to have this piece here because I actually um, the first like I had all I had all my piercings done with a gun. I don't recommend you do that. If you have a piercing shop nearby, then please just go do it. Like most piercer, like people that know what they're doing, will not recommend piercing guns. Um, just yeah, don't. Don't get guns if you got a piercing nearby. I don't, so I that's what I had to resort to. But and especially don't get guns for your cartilage. That's not a good idea at all. Just I wouldn't recommend it. Um, but this here is in plant grade titanium and. What you have to do is, um, you buy the the post, and then you buy whatever end you want, and make sure that it corresponds to, like the to the two pieces, or like this sizes, like the right size, or they probably won't work. I did hear on I think steelnavel.com. Um, that uh, that neo metal or maybe it was a nano metal, I'm not sure, but they were going to convert all the reins to fit the uh, universal posts. I think that's what they said. Uh, sorry, I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't talk about. Um, but, yeah, I think that's all I got. And, I recommend you get, yeah, the good stuff for your piercings and don't just cram some costume jewelry in it and leave, I mean, yeah. Do, you do what you like, but I don't recommend you wear that stuff. And if you do... You probably don't want to wear it all the time. So. I think that's all i got to say for now. <clears throat> um, if you have any, um, maybe some video suggestions or maybe I might want, might do a video on my makeup collection or like I mentioned, talk about body modification or whatever and just tell me in the comments or whatever feel free to leave your comments down below and please apologize my appearance I didn't bother to put any makeup on so if I look like crap that's why um yeah I guess I'll see you later uh, remember to be happy, be healthy, and be kind. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!